to we are on top of a developing story that's a national story out of Israel that involves a, teen, a teenager from here in Tampa. This morning, 15-year-old Tariq Abu Qadir is out of jail in Israel after a brutal beating by security forces in that country. That beating was caught on camera, and as you can see in that video there, police were kicking him while he was handcuffed. People here in the Bay Area continue uh, to pray for a safe return. Adrian Pedersen is live this morning at the Council on Isl American Islamic Relations Office in Tampa. Adrian, tell us more about this. Good morning, Rod. This is sparking international outrage. I mean, you just look at those pictures of the young boy Tarek's face so badly beaten. And this morning, those images are spreading around the Internet. Now, while family and friends wait for him here in Tampa to come home, he's still over in Israel right now. He's on house arrest, but not facing any charges. I remember like two people coming in and hitting me from behind and, and then I went to sleep. That's it. Tariq Abu Qadir doesn't remember much about what happened in this brutal video. His parents tell us Israeli police beat him and threw him in jail. He's out of jail now, but still in Israel on house arrest. So how do you feel now you're out? Yeah, I feel, I feel way better. His family feels better too. I'm going to hug him, of course. Habibi, I love him. He's my first grandbaby. Originally, when she saw this video of Israeli police beating someone in handcuffs, Tarek's grandmother thought it was someone else. I thought they hitting somebody else. I was crying because I thought somebody else. But... When I see it, he's my grandson. I couldn't. I couldn't take it. I can't. Just a very emotional story. Out here at CARE, they're hosting a press conference coming out this afternoon at 4, and we're expecting family members and friends to be here as well to update us on what's going on in Israel right now. And, of course, we'll update you on air and online. All right, Adrian, thank you. Tarek is a sophomore at the University Academy of Florida here in Tampa. Tarek was not the only teenage member of his family victimized by violence. His cousin, 16-year-old Mohammed Abu Qadir, was burned to death. Israel police report several people are now arrested accused in the murder. People around the globe are mourning for him, including folks at a gathering in Temple Terrace. Not only do we have to mourn over and, you know, go grieve our baby, he's only 15, you know, kidnapped, made to drink gas and poured gas on him and burned alive. I mean, it's inhumane and it's insane that we have to, you know, even witness these types of things. The teen's mother says she might be satisfied if the suspects are given life sentences and their houses are demolished. Police are investigating whether the violence impacting these Palestinian teens is retaliation for the death of three Israeli teens found in shallow graves. The homes of two of those suspects in those murders were destroyed by the Israeli military.